I'm Adam Steve Houston. Welcome back to my channel. Well, as you can see, the weather has changed in Northern California. In fact, I got stuck in a snowstorm yesterday in Grass Valley Truck Area on the way to run a couple of appointments. Hey, listen, if you're new here on this channel, we talk about all things related to financial services, their products, the compensation plans, IMO comparison, and the standard is where I need to supply third-party documentation to back up my opinion. That way you can decide what's best for you. Listen, my intention is to show and educate you that are new to this industry, what to look for as an IMO. What is the MLM type IMO? Focusing more on recruiting your friends, family, and neighbors than on actually selling some insurance and protecting some families first. That's what we came here for. And leading from the front, when and if you decide, to build your own agency. Listen, these IMOs and these recruiters that start you out with a low pay of 60% and then hold you from being able to be promoted at 80% or more unless you bring them some new blood. The idea of a new blood is kind of an exchange rate, right? I'll let you get paid what you're worth, but you gotta bring me some more people I can make more money off of even before you're licensed. Why does that make sense? Because you can't make money until you're licensed. You're nothing more than a bird dog. You're basically his field ticket. So I talk about this a lot because in my opinion, that there are better options. So the first thing I ask anybody that calls me, texts me, or email me is why would you do that? There are other options. Makes sense to me. But you had to decide what's best for you. It's not about what's best for me. It's about what's best for you. All I'm saying is, is there are better options. So why would you let somebody have their hands in your pockets for years until you got enough people that he would grant you the privilege of being promoted. I want to get this video out to you as an example of our new Agent Success Academy I'm going to focus more on in 2020. Teaching you some skills that will increase your success in the home and your income in 2020. On this video, I wanted to show a tip that I really learned a long time ago and I, I don't talk about it much. I didn't even remember what it was called because I kind of learned it and it's become more of a natural thing that I do in some appointments, but I learned it a long time ago when I first started out with the New England Life Insurance Company in Pasadena, California, that really helps explain to the client that there's more than just the mortgage balance that we're trying to protect. And because we work the mortgage station niche market or final expense, we kind of get focused on just protecting the mortgage. And there's more to a family's income. So, and there's more at risk than the family's mortgage balance if someone were to pass away. It's also about our number one asset, which is not the home. It's our ability to earn income. Our job as agents, in my opinion, is to make sure our clients have protection, the right protection, and be willing to have that conversation with them about what is at risk after one of the income earners pass away. We know that if either one of them passed, in today's world, 90% of the time it takes two incomes to make one mortgage payment. And if one of them passed, not only do they not come home, but neither does the paycheck. And if the surviving spouse cannot make the mortgage payment, then there's a problem and that's why we're there. Listen, for many people, estimating life insurance can be an intimidating task if you're not sure where to start, which is why insurance companies need agents. While there are multiple tools and strategies that you and I can use to help you project what that family needs, I find the most effective and simplest tool is, again, what I call the dime method, which I was fortunate to learn very early in my career. If you remember the word dime, it's easily remembered, and it stands for debt, income, mortgage, and education. So I want to break down each letter of the dime method on this video to ensure that you're best prepared to help keep that family secure and also your own family. Now don't stop the video and go away before the end because I'm actually going to show you an in-home presentation sitting down at a table. That's how I start my conversation with the client. If I'm going into home and they have a very low mortgage or a very low refi balance that I'm trying to cover, but they're raising kids, they have a mortgage, they have a car, you know, there's a lot of risk should one of the breadwinners pass away. So the D in dime stands for debt. So I asked them, what is your current outstanding debt? You might want to ask why debt? Well, debt can be detrimental to the livelihood of their family if it's not accounted for properly and considered in the life insurance coverage. Having a home paid for, but that surviving spouse buried in debt with a loss of 50% of her income, uh, that's still a problem. So as a first step to the dime formula, start by adding up all their accrued debt. And ask, do you have any student loans? Do you have any car loans? Do you have any credit card debt? Do you have any personal loans? Using this example, you're gonna find out how much debt that you'll want to be covered 
buy a life insurance plan to ensure that family's financial future. Now the I in dime stands for income valuation. Income valuation is the next step in evaluating the annual income. Now as a best practice, I estimate all sources of income, including a spouse's, and then take that number, multiply it by the number of years that family will need support. Now if you watch my video that I talked about earlier, protecting the middle, I talk about those middle years where any loss of income and dreams are lost. So my example I'm going to use, I take 30000 for him, 30000 for her, I get 60000 Multiplying this together, the family will need about $600,000 in order to be financially secure for 10 years without their income. Even with a loss of only 50% of their income, say one spouse passes away but the other doesn't, there still may be a condition where the surviving spouse can no longer work. Having to care for the children or hire someone to care for these children. Again, thinking about those middle years where they're getting married, they're buying a home, they're having kids, and the debts are mounting. And in these growth years, if a loss of 50% of the income took place, this family not only risks the home, but also the dreams of college education and a stable home to live in are lost. Now the M stands in mortgage calculation. That's why we're there, right? Mortgage calculation. Having enough money to keep your family in the home securely is another important part of this dime method. With this step, simply add up the remaining balance. You should have it on your lease sheet anyway of the remaining mortgage. In this example today, I'm going to use a $100,000 balance left on the mortgage. And lastly, the E in dime stands for education estimation is the final step. Add up the amount of education expenses needed to send those children to college or private school. It's common, in my opinion, to estimate about $100,000 per child to cover any schooling needs. If they don't have children or their plan is to have children in the future, they can use this money for more of an emergency fund like home repairs, car repairs, medical emergencies. Assuming they have two kids, at $100,000 a piece, that's $200,000 that they need to have in their life insurance plan to protect the dream of a college education for their children. So in review, we've got in the dime method, we have debt, we have income, we have mortgage and educational costs. When you add all those up, you come up with a number that provides really an accurate estimate of how much life insurance they're going to need to protect their family's future. And as agents, we need to remember the why of life insurance, which is to protect your family and your client's family when we pass away. Now remember, life insurance is an emotion-driven product, a non-tangible. The person you're sitting in front of will never see the benefits of what they're buying. So it's critical that you have a conversation with them and not a sales pitch. And it's important to get them to understand what life insurance is for. The purpose of life insurance is simply life insurance protects their family when they pass away. And if they're holding any debt or have excess liabilities, all that's passed on to the family if they pass away without life insurance. With life insurance, family members or other beneficiaries receive a death benefit in the form of a one lump sum payment that can be used to cover debts, loss of income, mortgage, and future education for their children. Unfortunately, in the U.S. alone, and this speaks to the opportunity that you and I have going forward in 2020 and beyond, it's estimated that 41% of Americans die without passing any life insurance benefits to their loved ones, which is why I'm so excited for 2020. It'll be the best year for those that position themselves with the right coach or the right mentor that has a time-tested training program to teach you the skills needed to succeed and to scale your income in this industry. Once you learn the basics, which is being able to convert a lead into an appointment, choosing the right products, making a short presentation, write an application, and get the application from submission to commission, the way you and I can increase our income is very simple. It's more leads, make more dials, set more appointments, see more families, write more ads. But you've got to get the foundation in place first. That's why it's important that you've got a one-on-one, -on -one, case-by-case, day-to-day coach that will teach you the skills that they use to achieve success in the industry, which is why it's important you're not being hired by a recruiter. You're being hired by someone that's leading from the front and actually putting their name on an application too. Just ask them. Many of them are dumb enough to tell you that they've never sold anything. They're just recruiting. And at that point, if I were you, my recommendation would be to hang up quickly. That's somebody looking at you as a meal ticket, period. Don't be flattered they're trying to recruit you because that's how they earn their income. I don't promote this on my videos, but if you're looking 
or you're somewhere where you're struggling trying to figure out this business and really have a burning desire to put yourself in a life-changing position for 2020, give me a ring, send me an email, or shoot me a text, and let's see if I can be of some guidance before this incredible opportunity slips you by, and that would be tragic. So I'm gonna go over to the desk right now and have a conversation with my fictitious clients, Jack and Jill, for you to see just how I do this in the home. So let's go. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed that. We're moving to new offices in January, so I'm gonna have a dedicated video studio to come and shoot these and a much better environment to do more of that kind of stuff, sitting right down at a table and teach you things. So don't forget to join the Agent Success Academy. It's free, I'm not selling nothing. Please understand, I'm not selling anything on these videos. I'm here to help you. I don't sell leads. I'm not selling any trainings. I don't have a book to sell. I'm here to try to help you succeed in the industry because we need you. And as always, remember the surest way to succeed is to be determined never, ever, ever quit. Never quit. Expect to fail. You're going to fail. But quitting, you're quitting on yourself. Have a fantastic day. Check out the next video. Check out these other videos. Again, give me a like, hit the subscribe button, mash the bell, make me a comment, send me a text, email, or shoot me a phone call, and we can chat. Let's make 2020 your breakout year, and you may very well have to make a change right now to position yourself to profit in 2020. So let's go get it together.